Okay, let's do this. Are we in short? Yes. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guys, we have some exciting news. You'll know it because you've seen the title and the thumbnail. Uh, but we have some exciting news. But we also have an explanation for said exciting news. Because uh, there will be some questions. Rightly so. And so I'm going to answer those questions. Well, I'm going to answer the what's probably going to be the questions uh, in this video. So the good news is, and the exciting news is, that the game is back. We're selling the game again, and you can buy it at shop.freshlyugana.com, and hopefully it's back to stay. Uh, if you don't know about the game, and I'm going to give you guys a really quick catch up. So the game is a product that we launched, oh gosh, um, when COVID first got announced. I don't know what year that was anymore. 2020, 2021, something like that. The game is a, is, is a, um, a box of 100 conversation cards. When we first launched it, it was like 60, and then we created a second version, which is like a much higher quality version. First one was like a, a prototype or a test. It's 100 conversation cards, and the aim of the cards, this is not a sales pitch, I just want to give a catch up for anybody who's new here, or be in the last six months. Uh, the aim of the conversation cards is to basically help people connect with one another. Uh, so it it works really in any setting. If you're with siblings, family, parents, spouses, uh, strain, uh, it ha friends and stuff like that. And the questions are like open-ended questions that you can interpret in different ways at different times of your life. Uh, so an example of a question could be, um, oh, let's find something. In the past year, what was the moment in which you felt closest to Allah? So there's some that relate to kind of religion and then others uh, are, are like light-hearted or um, just about you. So there's one that says, what's been tough about today? What do you want me to take lead on? And stuff like that. So different questions. Um, the point is, so it's a box of 100, question, 100 conversation cards uh, that people have really enjoyed and liked and so on and so forth. Right. Let's carry on the narrative uh, and the story. What happened is, is the game was, uh, was on sale for, when I say on sale, I mean, we were selling it, not like it was on discount. Uh, so it was on sale for, I don't know, a year and a half, two years maybe. And people loved it and um, it was going really well. And then we decided to discontinue the game in August this year. Now, when we decided to discontinue the game, we were being genuine. We genuinely decided to discontinue it, sincerely decided to discontinue it. We had no plans of ever selling it again online. And the reason I say that is because online specifically is because we had some other plans, like for example, to, um, we did, for example, we didn't write off the idea of selling it in person if, for example, we had an, a one-off event. Um, and also I said in the video that we were discontinuing it because it was time, it was, it was a good time to end it. I was wrong, I made a mistake, I was completely wrong. Um, and I also said that we had other plans, which we did. Like w one of them was to potentially turn it into an app, um, which I, I, which you know, never say never. But I don't think that's the way we're going to go. So anyway, uh, why do I say I made a mistake and I was wrong? So it was the wrong thing to do. We received loads of backlash when we discontinued when we said we were going to discontinue the game, and th the game, and then when it actually got discontinued, we received loads of backlash. Gen generally like lovely people, like, no backlash, like nothing mean, but people were just like, why are you discontinuing it? We don't understand. And when is it going to come back on sale? We want to buy the game and stuff like that. And um, it made us realize a, how popular the game is, but also it's just, why did we discontinue it? Um, and we wanted to put it back on sale. And so we had decided, or I had decided a few weeks ago that that's what I want to do. Um, and I was excited about it, but I was like, well, everybody's just going to, like, I'm going to lose credibility, essentially, or people are going to question, was this all the plan all along? Was it, like, a marketing plan to, like, boost sales and then <coughs> always tr plan to come back? And I hope that you got my, you know, uh, you guys having known me for six years now uh, will trust when I say that that was not the case. We genuinely planned to discontinue it. And so 
I didn't want to. For, I didn't. I, I was aware of this, and I also didn't know if we were allowed to sell the game again because we genuinely said that we're never selling the game again. So I had a call with um, Sheikh Mohammed Tim, who you guys obviously know from Fresh and Grounded, who we ask a lot of questions to. And I said to him, I said, Sheikh, if I just want to put the game back on sale, but I've said that I've previously that we're discontinuing it, um, is that something that we're allowed to do? And he basically um, to give you a long story short said that as long as i meet two conditions we sh we it, it's fine and so condition one was that we basically didn't swear by allah that we're not putting it on that we, that we're discontinuing it which alhamdulillah we didn't do um and uh i mean i haven't rewatched that video but like it's not uh, something that i say very easily uh and then the second thing is that a condition is that we genuinely intended to discontinue the game, which we did. So he said, as long as you genuinely intended it at the time, so you weren't lying, and you didn't swear by Allah, so you didn't make an oath, then people change their mind in business, and that's normal, and that's fine to continue it. And so we're continuing it. Um, everybody was like, why did you discontinue it? Uh, there were loads of reasons, like genuinely we had other plans and we wanted to like, uh, we've been wanting to like expand the company into different worlds and fields and um, infrastructure, as I mentioned in the video, it is not set necessarily set up with a small company in a way where, you know, we can just decide to keep things going for the longest time, even if, for example, we're not really pushing it or we're not behind it and stuff. So we have to think, we can't just leave things running and stuff, right? And now that we've had that discussion and I've mentioned infrastructure, it's a good time to also speak about infrastructure. So when we announced that the game was being discontinued in August, we, alhamdulillah, uh, received loads of orders for the game. And it actually wasn't manageable um, or, it w we didn't have the infrastructure in place. We have essentially like one person doing packaging and shipment. And we, at the time, we were, I think, like a three man team uh, company. And we're still a small, very small company. And so, um, for the most part, we were able to fulfill all orders and everything went fine. And there were some, um, there were some orders that like slipped through the cracks or never, or like weren't fulfilled and stuff, a handful. And so another reason, even though we decided a few weeks back that we wanted to relaunch the game, we didn't want to relaunch it until we had um, dealt with every single order or like any returns that had come that we hadn't either like refunded because uh, it never, it, the, the, the game never actually like, uh, it got like returned back, you know, to sender and stuff like that. Or if people hadn't re received it and stuff like that. So we wanted to make sure that every single case was dealt with all of the anomalies were dealt with and we actually finished that um completely i got the all clear tonight um so if you're a person who in the time that we s were selling the game or like discontinued the game you had an order or something that's like completely like f n like either not been received or um got returned to sender like you you thought you ordered it and then, but it's actually ended up returning back to us because we had a bunch that that happened with. Sometimes people order internationally and then there's um, like uh, international taxes applied and so um, it doesn't get to them or like because of the taxes, they'll like turn it away and stuff like that. So we've had situations like that essentially as well. So if you did make an order and you have no idea what's happened, uh, A, check your email, we should have been in touch with you and B, uh, if even after that, like in a very rare case that there's no idea of what's what's happened essentially, you can personally email Kareem, uh, who's allowed me to to mention. This. He's actually asked me to mention this because he wants to make sure that every that we haven't done anyone wrong essentially, and we want to like make sure that that's the case. So you can email him at Kareem at freshlygrounded.com. That's K-A-R-I-M at freshlygrounded.com. So now that I've kind of explained why. Uh, we're putting it back on sale. And I've also explained the thought process and hopefully explained that it's just genuinely me feeling like I made a mistake discontinuing it and genuinely feeling like the right thing to do is to put it back on sale. Um, 
right for everyone who's asked for it back, right for the business because it was a great product that had great sales um, and all of that. I And now I've mentioned kind of the infrastructure thing. So with the infrastructure thing, we also didn't want to put it back on sale until we had an infrastructure that we're happy with, uh, which means that we have... We, we have like a dedicated setup that's going to make sure that every order is dealt with even if we have like the huge spike that we had in August like for example Ramadan's coming up and stuff like that so we now feel we have that infrastructure in place so um, that's all being managed from the UK obviously now that all that's been mentioned I guess it's just time to be excited which is um, the best part the game is back on sale it's a product that we genuinely put so much love and attention to um, you're gonna, we're gonna hopefully market it much more now because we, I suppose, have this like rejuvenated thing uh, where the game did so well, and we never done any like paid advertising or paid marketing, uh, I believe, uh, for it. Like we might have like once or twice done a post that we boosted for twenty quid or something, but we've genuinely not done anything proper for it. Everything, all the sales were organic, and this time I want to put my love and blood and sweat and tears behind uh, us pushing it because it's a product that we love, product that people love, and it's back. And hopefully it's back to stay. And it's available now if you go to shop.freshlygrounded.com. That's it. That's the video. I hope you guys can forgive me for making a mistake in putting it off sale. I don't think I've done it much on the platform where I've completely done a U-turn on a decision that I've made. I it felt, it's felt, I felt like this for a long time that maybe it wasn't the right decision to make. Uh, and um, and yeah, I, I think that's the case. And so forgive me for making a promise, essentially, that I've like gone back on. I did get it checked uh, because if Sheikh Mohammed said, look, you've done this and you can't go back on it and it's impermissible, I genuinely would not have put the game back on sale. And I hope I'm being sincere when I say that and I hope you guys believe me. But yeah, it's an exciting time. I just wanted to clear why we're doing it and I hope that nobody's like, oh, you know, this was your plan all along. Genuinely wasn't. And it's an exciting time because you can now buy the game again. And please buy it. Please. All right, guys. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.